Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Really excited to bring you lesson four on coding, our special coding edition of iPad Monthly. Let's jump straight into it. We're going to open up Tickle App. The last Tickle App we did, we looked at how to get our orca to swim a 360 and a little maths problem. We're actually going to create a little interactive game for younger students. So we're going to select the orca template again. And what we're going to do is I'll just touch and drag that code out of the way. What we're actually going to do is create a little game that has three, I guess, objects and they each create a musical sound. So we can give this game to our younger students and they can create a little musical composition with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a different kind of code here. So we'll go down to events and we're going to bring across when this character is clicked. Um, we're going to get it to play a sound. It's a really simple code. So let's go to our sounds, which is up the top. We'll bring over play sound. And so when our orca, because we're applying code to our orca here, when the orca is actually touched, it will actually play a sound. We know that it actually downloads from the internet here. So I'm actually going to select a sound that's just a single beat. So I might choose um, a clang. And so when I press play, um, and I actually touch the orca, it's just gonna, it's gonna play a quick sound. So that's kind of a double, a double sound, and that's okay for there. And then it's as simple as this. The kids actually bring over some other characters. So let's bring over, say, a blue whale. It'll download it. So we need an internet connection to actually download these characters. And we'll get rid of that code, go to our events and just repeat, repeat the process. Uh, when it's clicked, let's go to our sounds and select a different sound. Uh, let's go up here, hit our drop down, got some different sounds there, let's go with, uh, it might be just a click, it downloads it, uh, we'll move our whale slightly over and we do that one more time so that we have three characters so that when we go to full screen and we click on the, and we click on the whale, um, we can get our kids to actually create musical compositions. So this is a way of kids actually creating a game for someone else. So it's kind of that user, um, user-driven mentality where we're actually creating from some something else. A really fantastic way of getting kids to create games for others, but also exploring musical concepts along the way. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.